Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Despite this thing's hideous teal countenance, it is a tool release of miraculous proportions. What if I told you that this tool could increase your chooch factor by at least 10%, increase your mental alertness, your sticktivity, your, your stick to and even make you not grind your teeth when the boss comes around? Amazeballs, I know. I'm going to show you what it is, and you're going to blow... Ah, oh, it never fucking fails! That's right. It's a jeezless, battery-operated coffee maker! Sad but true. Focus, you fuck. That's right. I enjoy my coffee like I like my ladies. Hot, black, and bitter. Look at her. A right booby jizzler. The given doesn't stop a getting. Even comes with built-in theft deterrent. The color. Well, no time to waste. The sooner we get into her, the sooner we get some piping hot coffee right down our mouth holes and as we can see the thing's bisexual swings both ways just like a barn door AC and DC now right off the hop here I can see that uh, the guys at Velveeta were woefully negligent in their design they omitted the quick draw belt clip and speaking of wrong I was not ABS plastic but polypropylene including the top part polypropylene as well not exactly thick walled but stiff enough for the girls I go out with. This doesn't appear to have La Bomba on it, so it must just be a percolator. No pump at all, so the water gravity fed into the heating coil and the heating coil boils it until it pressurizes it until hot water can come out here and percolate down through the grinds. Now oh, this is interesting, here's the prime mover here some silicon carny, high temperature silicon carny jacketed tubing here and it goes into two separate coils there's a 120 volt coil heating element no I'm mistaken this actually goes in the middle here so the water the fluid cavity or the fluid tubing goes through the middle and on one side there's a resistive heating element that's rated for 120 volts 500 watts something like that and on the other side, there's a 20 volt heating element. It's 200 watts. And the, what has to happen is the water leaks down in here under gravity, and then it has to get hot enough so we boil some, and then it goes and percolates through. That's going to be screaming hot water, obviously, depending on your on your elevation. But up here uh, in God's country, it might be a little bit cooler than. And they've taken some good measures to protect the wires. Here's fiberglass jacketed wire with another fiberglass jacket in there with uh, some silicon carny tubing, high temperature, uh, and even metal clips to, to hold them in to keep them from fretting. Of course, you're going to bank this around quite a bit because it's so, you know, it's like a tool. So they want that to, uh, to last. And now the circuit board is interesting in that it's kind of, it's a bit of a throwback. It's a very simple design, and they don't use a, a buck converter, nothing fancy. No, there is one little brain box, we'll get into that. But essentially, a very kind of minimalist design. Oh, looking at the circuit, we have AC coming in here. This is AC line, so this is your hot. Coming in here to this little fuse, and that protects against overcurrent. Then we have a metal oxide barrister which protects against over voltage. We have some mylar or poly, polyethylene or polypropylene metallized film capacitors. This scoots from over here into yonder 250 or 120, excuse me, volt relay. This the coil itself is 120 volts, so it only clicks over, it only actuates the contacts when it sees 120 volts. So that energizes this transformer, this isolation transformer, which takes 120 volts down to 10 volts. 
And then that actually gets rectified. It's rectified by these four diodes, this rectifying bridge, and then gets filtered by some of these caps. None of these items are, are name brand items. They're all sort of uh, off brand or, or secondary brand. Getting into even this Holtec. This is an interesting little microcontroller because what the this is a Taiwanese company and this what they do is they make very specialized microcontrollers for for specific devices. So instead of going with a, an Atmel and doing all the programming or an AT Mega, rather a microchip pick mega <laughs> what they do is they have very specialized they make these microcontrollers for ATM machines uh, and so, uh, and body fat temperature or body fat uh, calculators so instead of buying an AT mega chip with a whole bunch of ancillary stuff that they don't need that's overkill is so that jacks the price up of course they go with one of these, and these Holtec guys are very good at picking up the big guy's scraps, the sort of the stuff that falls in between the cracks, and if you have time to design specifically with a specific MCU, then you get exactly what you need. So this might have uh, analog to digital converter, and it's just an 8-bit microcontroller. The interesting thing is, I'll point out, is that you always think that little guys cannot compete with big guys. But the obverse of that is l big guys cannot compete with little guys. And we're in an age now, it's super interesting, because you can just get on the internet and put up a little store for a device or a tool or whatever that you're making. And the big guys, if, it's a, if you build a better mousetrap, the big guys can't compete. It's like Boeing saying, we're going to stop making the 787-10, that $0.3 billion aeroplane. And we're going to make uh, $100 drones and see where that takes us. It ain't going to fucking fly because you have all these legacy costs and yada, yada, yada. So as we can see, even in the IC industry, there is room for little guys. And I want you to take that to heart. If you have a good idea, now is the time because you can put it on the Internet and you have access to millions of people. You could never, ever, ever do that before. Pardonnez-moi, I digress. The long, short, and curly of it is we got this brain box doing all the thinking in its head, and all it's really doing is just turning this relay on for the 120-volt coil, and this relay on for the other 120-volt coil, and then we have an input here for temperature, probably just a thermistor that tells it if it's too hot or whatnot. And then we have uh, some inputs from the, from the switch, and also some outputs to the LED. And that's just a bog standard FR4 16th inch board, double sided, through hole components. It's a beautiful thing though, because why gild the lily, right? It's a coffee maker. Unfortunately, quite crappily, they've omitted any kind of stick tuition, Celastic or Silicon Carney. So, being as this is a mobile device, if you have a failure, it's very likely going to be something is broken off of the board. I'm talking about these little electrolytic capacitors that are flopping around in the breeze. Or we've gone and blown a fuse here. Cheap fucking stickers too. Not even vinyl. Gabbage. Wood chisels. Not just for jamming right through the palm of your hand. Libations. Don't mind if I do. The 90s called your Desert Rose Limo wants its teal vanity curtain back. Close your lungs, we're going in. Whilst the paint is chooching, we'll have a look at the dingle arm. Same horrible color. This is ABS plastic. And then zinc, or. <laughs> Silk screened on there is the Makita brand, of course, ABS plastic, LXT, that's the battery type, 18 volts. You can see there's three leads here, three leads on here. Nice little cord, uh, 16 American wire gauge, so nothing wrong with that. Let's see, 18, 18 volts nominal, 200 watts I think that heater is, so figure 10, 11 amps going through there, so plenty big. And it's actually rated 105C. This is SJT, 
So that's uh, service junior. That's just 300 volts and it's a thermoset plastic. So this would be PVC and you can feel, yeah, it's PVC. Neat little gadget though on account of, well, this isn't, it looks like a NEMA 515, but it's not on account of this little gullet here. It won't fit in there, but uh, it's not the typical, well, sorry, the NEMA, you know, the, the NEMA 515 to, to the C2G. It looks like a C2G. It's not, though, because of the gullet. Something else entirely. Oh, you brain dead motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to take it for a rip. Today is tomorrow, just in time for midnight coffee break. Been threading lots of holes, so we're getting low on the top water. That's okay. Comes in solid bricks here in Canada, and uh, we just got to thaw this out. Then we'll have enough water. What for making our coffee? Whoa. That's some fancy stuff there. Came with his own clip. All the way from Kona. That ought to do her. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cortex. Any time now. We pulled away at the break of day to pull traps and oil skin trousers. Tonight we're back on the Susie Jack with a thousand pounds of lobsters. Oh, shanty town, I'm gonna tear you down. I got the money coming out of me stockings. And tonight we're back on the Susie Jack. Something, something, something. <gasps> it lives. Choot, she did, but she took her time about it. She ain't too quick. However, you old fellers, what gets the 20 minute with the good jobs, what gets uh, the 20 minute warning prior to coffee will have no troubles at all. So, down the hatch. Hoo hoo! Oh wow! There is a distinct acetone top note to that. Whew. Half a cup of that will give you the machine gun shits for sure. I got just the thing to fix that though. Good for what ails you. Ho 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 ho! That'll put hair on your chest. You got hair on your chest, it'll move it towards your shoulders and back. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice. Fuck me, running. <laughs> That's some proper go juice there. I think it's time to do some machining.